How do C and D compare? Especially given that D is by default a garbage collector language and C is using manual memory management. We'll find out. And before we really get into it, I want to give three warnings for this video. All right. First, if you're looking for handwritten, uh, mostly human written code, I did use AI to help me. So if this is if that's the kind of video you want to look for, um, this is not that video. There was AI used, so watch a different video. Please do not leave any nasty comments. Two, if you're looking for super optimized, expert written and expert uh, explained code, again, this is not the video for you. I didn't optimize these examples as much as I liked. I would have liked to have, but I, these are not super optimized. I am not an expert in C or D, so I'm not going to know everything about them or understand every single thing here. Um, so do note that, again, if that's what you're looking for, watch a different video. Please don't leave a nasty comment. And third, while I will do one quick performance test, I don't want to market this as a benchmarking video. This is not a benchmarking video. I didn't scientifically control for everything. Or as I said, I didn't optimize these super well. So it's not going to be an apples to apples, super scientific comparison. Um, look for that video elsewhere. Don't watch this video for that. And please don't leave a nasty comment. For everyone else, I am fine with constructive criticism given those caveats, but do do be civil about it and polite. All right, let's let's go for it. So the app, little mini app we created here in C and D uh, is essentially just reads a CSV file. Uh, you point it to a particular column and then it sums all the values in that column. That's it's very simple. It's nothing too complex. I wanted to do something a little more complex, but I just did not have the time. Um, I did try, actually. I do have an example I tried to get going, but it ended up being way too complex, more complex than what I wanted, so I just did this simple one. So unfortunately, there's, I'm not using the at no garbage collection annotation like I would have liked to have, because that's a really cool feature in D, that you can use both the garbage collector and not use the garbage collector, and you know do it on a line-by-line -line basis. That's cool, but I wasn't able to show that here. I wasn't also able to code up a better C example, wanted to show that, didn't get the chance to though. So we're just looking at the garbage collector version of D versus the versus C. Um, all right, so those caveats out of the way, I wanna point out this is a companion video to a high level video I did on C and D, so check that out. Um, and let's get into the differences in the code. So first off, for with D we have imports, and C of course we have the include. So that is a nice modern convention D had. Um, you're no longer, you know, pulling in header files. You're just importing packages, essentially packages or libraries. So that's nice. Uh, main, the main function setup is pretty much the same. So this is using a string array, and this is well, kind of a string array, but really an array of a character array here that's being used. Um, we're, since this is a command line app, we're pulling in the command line arguments here. Um, and again, pretty much the same, just done slightly differently. Um, again, we're using a string, this is using character array. And then uh, for the for loop here, and when we're iterating through the arguments, we are using a simple for loop here, whereas this one is a for each. So that's an, again, a nice modern for a, a nice modern version of the for loop that D implemented. Um, we're pulling in and reading the file in. Um, and note that while this looks a little diff different, um, we're essentially using this uh, kind of file pointer here underneath the covers, right? This is just a simple wrapper. So it should be doing some relatively similar things when it opens a file and reads in the file. Um, note it's also using an, uh, the auto uh, keyword here. So that's something C++ has. You can basically just infer the data type without having to specify. So that's nice. That's used a few in a few other places here as well, as you can see. Um, cool. And then second, we're again, we're reading it as an in as a buffer. And then we iterate line by line. So each of these, this one uses the 
read line for that that D has built in. And this one uses F gets to essentially do the same thing. Um, and then again, we're we're iterating through the rows, uh, removing white space and any other junk that's in there, and then adding up the values to get the sum. And then we print out that sum. This one uses print F, this one uses right line. Um, and again, that's pretty much this at a very high level in a nutshell. Um, and again, if any of the, my explanations were wrong, you now feel free to give me some polite constructive criticism on that. I am open to that and learning and doing better next time. Um, all right, cool. So next, uh, we're going to compile these. I've already done that, but I'm going to do it again, just show you how I compiled it. So I compiled the D, I'll start with D, compiled the D with LDC2, which should be somewhat more optimized. It's using, I believe, LLVM in the back, back end. Um, and these are my options. So I compiled it with that. And you can see it's right there. Uh, for C, I'm using GCC here with all these options. These many of these options may not be uh, needed, but I did to try to optimize it where I could. Um, and I will warn you that I am getting a warning here, but it still runs fine. So again, give me some constructive uh, comments and criticisms on this, on how I can kind of fix this and remove this warning. So, so note that, but it still runs fine. All right, and I'm, since we have those compiled, uh, let's go start with the C executable and run it so we're going to use and i'll show you we'll use we have two files one's a big 500 thousand line csv but we'll start with the test csv just for a quick test um so let's do test c so we're going to pass that in and yeah, not that one yep test.csv and then we're going to point to the second so one is the second column here uh, and the sum is 245. I did do the math. It is 245. For D, we can do the same thing, but just replace C with D. Easy enough. And then we run it. Boom, we get 245. Easy. Cool. So now I will do a very simple, probably not optimized, probably not super scientific benchmark test. And I'm going to use Hyperfine for this. Um, and again, this is not a benchmarking video. This is not to say D is almost certainly faster than C because in the end, both of these should bo be very performant and should perform fairly similarly. Um, but it will be an interesting comparison because this is using the garbage collector. This is using, of course, manual memory management. So let's compare with Hyperfine. We're doing a warm up, doing, doing some warm ups, and we do 50 runs for each. So let's see what that looks like. It just, just give it a moment doing that C test and note also I'm using WSL on a mounted file system that's also going to affect it as well so do note that um, usually we do get a statistical outlier message here because the system can be kind of noisy and it's not done perfectly but we didn't get it this time around so I guess that's good um, as part of this result, looks like C was able to run not much faster. It was able to run 1.02 times faster. Um, but sometimes the result's different. Let's run it one more time since it doesn't take too much time. Running, running, running. Okay, oh, see again. I think there was one time uh, D was a little bit faster, um, but but that was the one time. So it looks like C is a little bit faster, but as you can see in this given environment, in a noisy environment with not super optimized files, um, D is not much lower even with the garbage collector. And of course, these are not optimized. If you were to optimize the D file, um, and of course optimize both equally to be fair, right? Do an apples to apples comparison, use the no GC, no garbage collector annotation. Um, you can get these probably just about the same, right? Very little discrepancy. Um, if you were to do it very, you know, if you were to do it a lot better than what I did here. So do note that I'm not saying one is better than the other. 
these should in theory perform equally as well if you optimize both well enough. So that's pretty much it for me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it again. Um, now let me know your comments, what you thought about this. Um, and again, if there's anything I can improve here, do constructively criticize me. I tried to do some things a little differently than the last video because of some of the input. I wasn't able to do everything though. Um, I, unfortunately, since I didn't have a whole lot of time on my hands and I wasted a lot of time uh, on the more complex version of this I was going to do and then abandon. So do note that, but yeah, do give me some good constructive and polite criticisms on this and any thoughts you have. And if you like this video, do like and subscribe for more Techie Talk from the Techie Shop. If you like this video, watch this video here for more Tech Talk.